Hey guys, welcome to another artist slash studio vlog. Not 100% sure what I'm going to call these because it is a studio vlog, but it's not just all in the studio, it's me going to conventions and stuff. So all the footage from this vlog was filmed May, June-ish this year. And during the time I had two conventions to prep for, I got a bunch of um, new merch that I had never ordered before, so that's very exciting. And I'll also take you with me doing some bit of shopping and convention stuff in Melbourne, showing my current table setup. So yeah, there's lots of bits and pieces in this vlog, um, as well as some drawing and stuff like that. So I really hope that you enjoy it. I really enjoyed filming and editing for this video. I tried very hard to do some, like to really learn and upgrade my editing skills. Um, before we get into this video, I did want to say a massive thank you so, so much to my Patreon supporters um, and yeah, and a massive thank you to you as well. So anyone who watches, likes or comments on my YouTube videos um, or support me and search me, it helps me out financially and it just helps me to be inspired to keep going and actually filming my journey and the things that I create. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, this video is a bit longer than my last vlog, so um, grab some water, a snack, whatever you want, just chill and um, enjoy the video. You can even do some drawing or some crafty stuff, but yeah, that's that's it from intro me. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and yeah, see you, bye. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, puppy. Hi. They want to say hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I was just saying that I'm about to get into it as far as first steps of con prep. So I have these three suitcases. Hi, Molly. <laughs> these three suitcases that are still not properly unpacked from the last convention, which was like two months or two ago now. So I've set up the table to be extra wide, I've moved everything out of the way. I'm going to unpack and do a brief stock count. I'm not going to stock, like, count all of my pins, but just things that I can reprint, such as like posters and prints and stickers. So I'll count everything and I'm going to try and prepare for two cons because we have Adelaide Oz Comic Con in May and then um, I just found I got into Melbourne in June, so that's really hectic. <laughs> so you're about to see this get really messy. All right, guys, I am back because I have some goodies to show you. I finally got this order. Um, went in for a group order with a couple of friends for bow grace. This is my first, my first ever bow grace order. I don't think I got anything with them last time, but I want to show you all the goodies I got. It's a bit hard to film, but I got my first ever lanyard. I'm so excited. This is my orange bat sprinkle design, which I used for um, a washi tape um, for Halloween last year release. And I got it just as a lanyard because when we were going for in for the group order, we wanted to get it in for a certain show. So I didn't have any time to make any new artwork. So I just customized and utilized whatever pre-made artwork I already had. And I really love this design. So I got 
few of those. I quickly put this together. And this is um, little Demon Slayer chibi heads. <laughs> I like to get this as a washi tape actually, but I thought these were really cute. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on there. Can you focus? Kinda, there we go. So yeah, and I just did a couple of hushers and then like main characters and that there. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I like um, Anosuke's little angry, angry boar face. So yeah, these feel so good. I just got the basic class on these. Um, my first time making line, I didn't know what I wanted to get. So I actually need to go through and count um, all of these, although Talia's already counted them, so they should be good. But I need to go through and grade them because some of them um, actually like were printed a bit off skew and got cut off a bit. So I need to look at that. But this is the Moods of Genga, um, which again has a washi tape and as a sticker sheet. And now it is on a very cute lanyard. Um, lots of purple, love that. Put that to the side. Oh, oh, oh. And then, so there's extras of the Gengars because they, the first lot they did were very off skew and I said, hey, like half of that's cut off, can we, <laughs> can we redo that? So they did, they actually sent me the ones that were um, not great. So I'll have a bunch of B grades probably for sale on my site when I do my shop update. And this is just like a very basic, you know, the Demon Slayer um, Tanjiro check. Although I feel like, it could have been done a little bit better, but I think it came out okay. I think I'm just picky with the colors, but obviously different printers gonna do different colors. And when you're printing on different like material, the colors come out a bit different as well. So there's those. And again, I just made things that I wanted. <laughs> and the good thing about Vogue Grace is that you don't have to order a lot, a mass quantity. So I got about mm, 10, 15 of each of the lanyards. Um, but we'll see how they do. Good thing about them is that they're uh, like easy to ship from the online store. So. Lots of gangy ones. So yeah, I got Harry Designs, Genga. I got about four. Yeah, four different designs of the lanyards. And then I have actually got my first ever Acrylic charms. I've never had them made before. I've always wanted to, but wasn't really sure. Um, so I got some pre-existing artwork. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Show you guys this. How beautiful is that? So this is my moon witch. She's got moon flowers around there. And these are double-sided printed charms. And um, the front side has got a glittery epoxy on it. That is a beautiful finish and oh my gosh, the colors. And I got a little star um, class there, but I'm so happy with how she came out. Oh my gosh. All right, so group these. Oh, I like this one too. Hopefully this came out nice. <gasps> yes, so I got my little Maneki tiger on the front side with the glitter is the white tiger. And the back is the orange. And this has just got the basic class. I wasn't sure if I wanted to have them all the same or just try them out. So yeah, oh my gosh. That is such good quality. The printing's amazing and the glitter is so cute. Ah! <laughs> so this backside's one that's got the peely off stuff. So I'll leave that on for um, customers to peel off when they're ready. Opening some more. Yes, so this is my floral Mononoke charm. This was a Patreon reward sticker um, and I have them for sale as well at conventions. I need to do a big massive shop update once Melbourne Ice Comic Con is done, which is in a couple of weeks anyway. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it looks so good. I'm glad I did this one. Like, it's really hard with getting um, designs produced onto products because you don't know what's going to sell. I would always suggest go for ones that either, like, you know, definitely sell like your, your classics or just things that you really like. And it's a good way to start out. But um, yeah, these are, I'm so in love with these. 
So I think I only got about five of each just because I wanted to get a few different designs. Not sure how they'll go. Um, I know there's lots of people at conventions that have charms, so I don't know if they'll sell really well, but yeah. And this is my sandwich. She's got the sunflowers. And I think the epoxy finish is so nice. What else do I have? So. I think I've just got three more designs. Let's open these. So this is my very kawaii, uh, creepy Hail Satan one and this sticker I've sold a few of these stickers and I just thought that this would make a cute key charm design as well um, and I think it came out great obviously the back has got the writing but there's not much I can do about that I don't really think about that oh well I don't think anyone's really gonna care but yeah how Satan super cute I hope that people like this one people do love their Furbies and as I said, I knew that design had sold well as a sticker, so. And then this is another um, new design that I did this year for Patreon. This is one of the stickers. I think it was for March, I think. Anyway, so this is, yeah, the Demon Slayer um, uh, Tanjiro's fox mask. It's got the his earrings and stuff there. And um, yeah, I think that came out so cute. I like it. I don't know if other people will, but I really like it and it's a clean design and I think it looks, I think it looks good. And then the lucky last, again, going off the designs that I had, I really wanted to do a brand new Ganga or use one of these, but I thought this was just classic. So this is my little ditto derpy Ganga. Um, and I think, you know, if people wanted to, they could buy these together. I think they go really well together and it's a different Ganga, but it would have been cool to have one of these. You can see this one, it's a B grade one. It's a bit printed off skew. Um, I could have even got just the classic Ganga there or the one eating the burger would have been cute. But yeah, I didn't have them big enough for a charm and I just thought I'd get this one. But I think he's really cute. So hopefully people like it. Um, a bit of variety to try out the charms. I know a lot of people do Pokemon ones, so I didn't want to do them, but my new EV stickers, um, which I'll have to show you later. Maybe when I do, when you see the bump in for Melbourne, I was coming on. The EV cafe ones that I did, I'd like to do them as charms and do the shiny colors on the back, but yeah. Ah, I'm so excited. So yeah, I just had to film unboxing all of this and then work out what I'm gonna do. I think for the convention, I'm gonna package them up into little baggies like this so that it's easy to keep track of stock behind the table. And then when people buy this, I can put this easily in their bag and it just kind of keeps it, you know, clean and confined and stuff like that. Don't know how I'm gonna display them on the table just yet. I've got to figure that out. Um, my packaging for, for the charms, this is a mock-up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. So I've got a click charm up there and then the, my website down there was just a very pastel, Background, I ended up just sticking some business cards there because I had heaps of them. I didn't want to mess around with printing on the back, but this is just a mock-up. So yeah, because I find that I want to have packaging for a lot of my products so that people actually know where they get it from, especially at conventions. Because I find for myself when I buy stuff from Artist Alley, I try and keep the cards with them, but then if people just give them to me loose and I put it into my little like shopping bag, which is me like prints and stickers that I get from art other artists because I want to support as many people as possible. <laughs> Um, that it all just kind of gets really loose and then you don't know who's is what. So I'm trying to incorporate this so that people can have this, they know where they get it from, or if they want to give it as a gift to someone, it's much nicer to have it like this and just loose, I guess. So yeah, still figuring that out, but I thought they looked good as a start. So yeah, stay tuned for more convention prep, but this is the main new stock that I'll have. Um, besides some stickers. This was meant to arrive a week ago before Adelaide was Comic Con, but it got held up in transit. So that's a shame, but I'm very lucky that I have Melbourne in a couple of weeks. So hopefully I can move some of this then and then I will take photos and put into my online store when that happens. So 
yeah, stay tuned for that if you're interested in any of these goodies. Just saying, my life is a mess when my camera battery just died because I never freaking charged them. Um, yeah, so I'll show you very quickly. I have done some new stickers. I wasn't going to do any more new stickers, but I did. So I've got some of the new Pokemon ones. It's freaking Tito. Um, Quaxley, I think he's pretty cute. Poi Coco, who is one of my favorites. I'm probably gonna get him. Um, and then I had to do a little chunk. Is it gonna focus for me, please? That's better. So I did Le Chonk who um, has taken the internet by storm with his very cute roundness and it just says chonky there. I thought that was cute. So I've done those. I actually have quickly did the legendaries as well. Um, Kuraidon and Miraidon. Again, I wasn't planning to do that. So um, we have Koridon right there. There, if it focuses. There we go, we've got Koridon. Um, I just did the standard poses because I do not have time to try and figure out their anatomy stuff. And then I've got Miraidon, the beautiful uh, purple boy. And it actually printed out a bit dull, so I think I need to up uh change my replace my ink so yeah so yeah that's what i've done sticker wise i am about to set up and do some streaming for as long as my ipad battery will let me and um i've got a few a3 prints to finish so i'll show you a little bit of that um if you're not already please go check me out on twitch and follow me i do with this stream there at the moment accidentally took a whole month off but um in general i do with these streams there so yeah
Okay, so we're still setting up, but I'm on a corner space, which I really like. Um, so I've actually put up some posters along the side. It's my first time doing a um, grid set up. Uh, so coming around the front here, I've got a lot of stickers. I've changed the sticker boards again. So they're different. I've got my mini postcard prints at the front here now. Um, I've got a couple of new prints on the side there, just the Pokemon ones and a kind of one that I did. Love it. So yeah, and then some mini lucky art packs there. Washi tape, the usual stuff, just set up a little bit differently. Um, and these are new, you guys would not have seen these before. These are some lines. I've got a Demon Slayer one, my Bat Sprinkle in Orange, my Moods of Gengar one, and the Tanjiro um, from Demon Slayer one. And then there is a Danny. <laughs> um, and then I've got all new acrylic charms there. Um, yeah, and my Pokemon pins. All my pins look nice and tidy for now. Got some mugs down here, but the extra self shelves that we've built actually for when the cute crypto pins arrive, they should be coming just after this con actually, and then I'll process them, process Kickstarter orders, and all that sort of stuff. And the Gashapon machine, which everyone loves. So yeah, that is the setup for now. I feel like it's so much going on, but I'm um, still changing things. So I am happy to have a lot more space behind the table. And then of course there's my prints up there. Um, anything about this new um, sticker board is that it obstructs a lot of space so it's yeah still figuring stuff out as we go but I'm happy with it for now and um, this is the mess behind the table but having these cubes means that I've got more shelves to actually put stuff instead of just keeping in my suitcase and fumbling around so I've got my leftover stock I've got my sticker files um, all of the like paper bags to put stuff in my sticker sheets and some mini prints in there acrylic charms and washi tapes in there and then bits and pieces up here that you know whatever and then yeah so that's it